everyone and welcome to the last video in the series on advances in pediatric medicine. This video is focusing on high frequency ventilation, specifically on oscillators. Oscillators are used when conventional ventilation methods fail. Oscillators are used mainly with premature babies that are having severe breathing problems. One common example is babies with IRDS, Infant Respiratory Distress Syndrome caused by the inadequate production of surfactant in the lungs. Inadequate surfactant production causes air sacs to collapse when breathing out and greatly increases the energy required for breathing. Slater works by using a constant descending pressure. Pressure variations move around at very high rates, up to 900 cycles per minute. This creates small tidal volumes, often less than the volume of air which is inhaled that does not take part in the gas exchange. This is a video of a baby on an actual oscillator. This video was taken of uh, baby Jacob by his family, um, and he is 17 days old. And here's the sound an oscillator makes. Early studies of high frequency ventilation were using jet ventilators by Dr. Bunnell in the 1970s. However, these ventilation systems did not provide a solution for getting the gas out of the lungs. They depended on the lungs doing that. This means that using a jet ventilator was unpredictable. Paul Lunkenheimer used an oscillator in an experiment he was doing. He was using an oscillator to study dogs with breathing issues. He discovered that this oscillation created CO2 elimination in the dog. With help of multiple other scientists and doctors, oscillators began to be used in unique cases like IRDS and during different types of surgeries. Alrighty, so today's did you know? Well, did you know that famous premature babies include Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Napoleon Bonaparte, Mark Twain, Pablo Picasso, Stevie Wonder, and Sir Winston Churchill. So the charity I chose to highlight was Newborns in Need. And Newborns in Need is really cool because it's a local charity. And you might say, huh, but local by meaning there's a chapter almost everywhere. So on their website, they describe their goal so perfectly. As they say, just imagine what it would be like to be out of money, have a newborn baby, and have very little support. Other than a cotton top and a few diapers and a thin flannel receiving blanket, you have nothing to keep your baby warm. Imagine holding a four pound preemie baby in your arms and wondering where to find extra small clothes to fit his fragile body. Imagine as you sit holding this tiny new life, a nurse or social worker walks up with a newborn's immediate needs essentials kit. Tucked inside are blankets, sleepers, diapers, hats, booties, baby wash, and shampoo. These items are given by a nearby Newborns in Need chapter. Newborns in Need also does something really awesome. They provide support and a special outfit and memory item for families of babies who have passed away. You can donate your old wedding dresses to be made into keepsake outfits for the babies. Newborns in Need's website, you can find a list of what your donation buys. They're a great organization and I really encourage you to at least check them out. Thank you so very much for watching this video and I hope you learned something cool. Now please check out my other videos. Remember to have a great day and help out the little guys.